Morton sits at Ionia and Monroe Center, which originally was a Native American trail. So this was the first street in Grand Rapids. In 1835, Myron Hinsdale built a hotel here called Hinsdale House. He quickly renamed that as the Old National Hotel. In 1837, as part of the temperance movement, he banished liquor from the hotel and ripped the bar out of the Old National. Just a year later, he died at the age of 39 of a sudden illness. The National Hotel burned in both 1855 and 1872. Then it was rebuilt as the Morton Hotel, a five-story brick building with the latest in fire protection. It became popular with celebrities, including President William McKinley. The Burleson Sanitarium, started in 1899 here in Grand Rapids, was considered one of the largest of its type in the world. In the 19-teens, as other hotels became more popular, the Morton Hotel started to suffer. So in 1922, a group of furniture executives got together and decided to build a brand new hotel. 13 stories of limestone, granite, and brick. In 1965, the Morton hosted the Kitten Club. Now this was a place where the young, high-heeled women would wear bustiers and kitten ears and serve drinks. So around that time, a young woman, 26 years old, named Annette, got a job. She needed extra money for her husband's surgery. But Annette made national and international news when people found out that she was actually a 37-year-old mother of nine kids named Francelle Stout. The Morton was turned into apartments starting in the 1970s. The Morton was one of the first luxury apartment complex here downtown Grand Rapids besides maybe one other. So it was really great to see the community experience what we were also experiencing from a construction and development standpoint. It was really the start of the rise of all the residential complexes opening that you've seen in the past five years. From 2011 to 2015, Rockford Construction took the time to really investigate the entire building, which led us to our development, building, and now management phase. We did open our doors in September 2015 for residents to move in, but during the lease up, uh, our model unit faced Monroe Center, where you could walk in and, and see all the different finishes and everything. But during the, the lease up as well, you had to put on your hard hat. It was an active construction site. I actually moved in here uh, in 2015. I wasn't working for Rockford Construction at the time, and I got to see my unit when they were just laying down the, the tile. Today the building offers modern amenities, spacious floor plans, and we were really able to build off of the historical features here as we were able to leave some of those structural elements. One thing that set us apart from other apartment communities in the area as a luxury apartment complex is all the amenities we have to offer. It's really a one-stop shop where you can live, you, can, you have your fitness center, you have your community room where you can you know, work from home. We were one of the first communities downtown to offer a pet-centric amenity here, even with the apartments right off the bat. We had a pet relief room for dogs and no other communities had that downtown. We've developed this community into not only apartments for our greater Grand Rapids, but there's a hotel here now and also we have uh, penthouse suites at the top. We love our residents here in our community. We're all about a hospitality-driven culture. So if you're out in the community, we welcome you to come in, give us a call, shoot us a text, and we'd be happy to show you around.